What's up guys, Goro here, and welcome back to episode 2 of Missy's Mission. That is correct, we are continuing on the grind. But from now on, we are going to be on the console. Yesterday's episode was obviously to start off by getting Missy Bokerns. I sat on that account on the web app for about 3 hours and got absolutely nowhere with it. We've completed one SBC for a 25k pack, didn't really get anything out of it. So, we'll hop into that into a second, but... Today, we are going to log on to the actual game for the first time. Obviously, we were on Xbox, so we took a flight to New Zealand to allow us to do this. So, without further ado, we are just going to hop straight into it. Let's get into the episode. So, here we are into the actual game. The Founders event has started. We are able to obviously get hold of lots of kits and lots of bits and bobs like that, which is very, very nice. So, obviously, we have badges, kits, all of that type of stuff. We're going to obviously claim this right now. Sadly, it's about the only thing that we do get to claim. Um, we are going to keep all the choices from last year, and I do not care about any of that info. So, here it is, the game for the first time, and Ultimate Team is here. This is the first time we've officially logged on to Ultimate Team. This is the first time I have done anything in regards to the game. So, you are getting my genuine reaction as it stands right now. I am super excited for this. Obviously, we're going to do this on PS tomorrow on stream, but for now, like, you know, we're still going to enjoy it whilst we can. So here it is, loading in. We have the Night promo coming soon. We are going to save some packs for this to try and get a few cards. I'm hoping there's a Liverpool card in there. That would be very nice. But, yeah, we've got a very good team of the week that we obviously want to pack. Again, Salah, Caraccio, Dybala, Lewandowski are the ones that we want. But I wouldn't mind taking a little Doku or Lamptey. Anything like that would be good. Obviously, yesterday we were able to get Fernand Torres and we were able to get um, Balde. So obviously, they're going to be in the team for now. I don't know how we're going to start the game. It's going to be interesting to see. It is taking a while to load, so it is here. The founder rewards are available to us. So we get additional XP for founder objectives, and obviously we get the loan packs and we get the um, kit packs, which is very nice. Um, sadly, we don't have our 4,600 FIFA points yet. Now, they may come later on, um, or we may have to restart the game to actually access them. But to start things off, our founders pack, we are going to be able to get all the customizable um, options I mean, it doesn't really offer too much to us, but um, sadly, you can't skip through these either. I don't know why. You can skip through everything else, but you can't skip through these. These are just kits. Um, we are going to obviously use this for now until we get all the Liverpool kits. Until we start getting the coins up, we can obviously use all of this, which is absolutely fantastic. EA are going to try and tell me how to play the game, but let's be real. We've been playing the game for a while. We also get the Founders Evolution, and that is going to be on Darwin Nunes. Now... When you go over to the transfer list, we do have a few like a few players that I do actually want to get hold of. The first one is going to be Darwin Nunes. Um, now, in terms of his price, I think he was about thirty. Uh, well, he was about thirteen thousand earlier. He is still around the same price, going up to about fifteen thousand. So he is the first card that we need to work towards that is expensive. We've got the likes of Matip that we want to do with evolutions, um, Cavisto from the Liverpool women's team as well to link to them. So obviously, we eventually want to build this team as it looks obviously offers quite a good few links we've got perisic that we can do evolutions with as well so there's a few different reasons for why i want this team but this is what we're going to try and build towards so without further ado let's go and try and start doing something to work towards it so i think to start off with we're going to start with evolutions now obviously we need to make some coins and i think the only way that we're really going to do that is by actually playing a game so we are going to go to i think it was this one the welcome to revolutions now the whole plan of this is to put missy bokerns into here the only thing is you have to have an evolutions one player now i'm hoping that this like this card will count as an evolutions one player if it doesn't then we'll have to do something else but hopefully this is going to count so here she is missy bokerns now obviously we bought it yesterday that's absolutely fine she is going to turn untradeable but I kind of like that, in all honesty. So, we have our first evolution of Missy Bokerns. Not upgraded yet, which is absolutely fine. This one is very, very simple to do. In terms of all that we need to do, you just need to play a game with her. And then once we've done that, we then play a second game with her. So, by the end of the video, we are going to have this card. We really could do with a team around her. Now, obviously, all of these cards look absolutely fantastic. But I can't exactly use them because they're, well, they're all concepts. So, until we can... I think we are going to have to build an actual team around and this is what we're going to have to try and use to start things off what i am going to do is i'm going to do this instead because uh, once ea tell me what to do she can play as a cam so obviously that will help us out a little bit more for chemistry 
and then we get to add one more card in so i guess galley can go in there uh, and yeah this is the team we're going to go into we're going to go into a game of probably division rivals we're going to go into a game of division rivals so let's go and test out this team and let's see how it goes so here we are then in a two the first game of this account cam fc these could be good teams or as we are probably seeing some very basic starter teams yoga trotter in there is decent ram is not too bad either so somebody who probably packed something decent in the packs on web app yesterday but for now we just need to play this game we need to play it out and then we can evolve missy bokens i do need to change the camera though here we are the, the camera angle a lot better now now obviously this is the first game i have played of eafc this is the first game that we will be playing on this account with many games to come from this so far playing pretty well and we nearly scored our first goal and we've conceded first considering we nearly scored straight away i have no idea how this has ended up into the back of the net i mean i guess it didn't close him down quick enough but bonu really should have saved that and now we've got to try and come back and win good save by bonu thankfully uh, that could have been very interesting if we can a little counter from this corner would be very nice although taremi might be able to do it missy bokerns is starting to try and get up the pitch for us i mean if she was the one that scored our first goal for this club it would be poetic oh she tries to chip it it's gone into the back of the net missy bokerns is going to celebrate it. it isn't quite her goal but i guess you could say a very fitting start to the club she is the one that gets us into a first goal and what I will say is, using Missy Bokerns, she actually feels quite good on the ball. Um, not a bad card to obviously start off with. Again, at the start of the game, these cards are never that good anyway. Because um, you're always coming up against worse cards. But, as things go, if we can get a good evolutions on her, which we hopefully will by the end of today, I think it puts us in a good position. Well, they are through. I don't know what Bono did there. I think the pace of Danny Welbeck, although I say pace of Danny Welbeck, uh, didn't quite help out for us. So, yeah, slight frustration conceding that goal, I will be honest with you. And we've conceded our first bicycle kick. Wonderful. Well, it's only taken 43 minutes for us to start losing 3-1 and continue on the awful gameplay as I had last year. The first half of our first game, and we're losing 3-1. Here we are. Can we score our first actual goal? Cheremi scores the official first goal for the club, which is very, very nice. It does mean that we are still losing 3-2. However, we might just be able to pull this one back. It is an assist by Missy Bokerns, though, to start things off. So I guess things are going very well for us so far. Um, there we go. He's going to make it full too. That's probably going to be game over. I am going to try and bring some players on. See if we can try and nick a late goal in this game. Kearns has found a way into the box. Missy Bo Kearns with her first goal for the club. It is not going to be the only one that she scores for us. I can guarantee that. A very nice through ball into her. A lovely shot. And that means an impact on the first goal. A goal and an assist to start things off in the first game. It's going pretty well. Well then, I think this is probably going to be it. Sadly, we do lose our first game. However, I don't think we can complain. Considering Missy Bokerns was involved in all of the goals that we scored, it's not bad. It's not looking too bad. Obviously, yes, it would have been nice to get the first win. 500 coins is very good for us. It's a great start, um, which we can hopefully get a few more objectives done with as well. Now, obviously, we are going to try and push to qualify for foot champs as well, because that will be starting the 29th of September, and we will be there for it. So, what it does mean is we, as I say, we've earned a few bits and bobs here or there. In terms of our evolutions, we have one complete. So... What we can do is we can claim this evolutions card and it means Missy Bokerns gets an upgrade only on a few stats, which is absolutely fine. So one pace and one dribbling, which is wonderful. You do not mind that whatsoever. So now all that we need to do is go ahead and play another game with her. What I am going to do is I'm just going to play this one and then we'll come back as soon as we have finished playing the game and get the evolved Missy Bokerns. So here we are then. I have just gone and finished that game. Uh, sadly, we, we didn't win. However... 
we didn't lose. So we drew four all. I was able to pull it back. Obviously, another 500 and so coins, which is very, very nice. So that does mean we get about 1,000 coins. We also get another 10 points towards foot champs. It's going to be a long grind of rivals for the next week or so, but I'm happy to put in the time for it. It is no problem. What it does mean, and what I am more excited about, is if we go over to our club, forget objectives, forget anything else like that, if we don't, we don't want to go into the team, we actually want to go to here. We want to go to our evolutions. We want to go to my evolutions. Missy Bokerns has been officially upgraded to the best evolution she can now. Hopefully, this is going to allow me to put her in to this. From what I'm aware of, she should work. And she does. So... If we put Missy Bokerns into this, the card at the end will be a 78 rated, which isn't as good as what obviously some cards are going to be that we're going to be using. But the stats are much, much better on her. It's a much more usable card for the first few weeks of FIFA. And then hopefully down the line, we'll eventually get obviously all the upgrades we need. So the only issue with this is it's going to take a lot longer to do. So to start things off, we would have to assist four goals and then play five games, which is fine. Then we have to go ahead and score two goals and play five games, which again is absolutely fine. Then the last one is assist in five games and win in five games. So yes, this is going to take a lot of time to do, but that's the whole point of evolution. So what I am going to do is I am going to start the evolutions. We are going to submit our Missy Bokerns in. So she loses the original sort of design and then now we have an upgraded version of Missy Bokerns again. So hopefully that is going to be good for us. What I'm going to do is obviously we're not going to play. I might play a few games to try and get like the first evolution done. But I'm just going to go around the account, try and build up some SBCs, try and build some packs for us just to start or get things going and maybe buy our first few cards. Right then, so I've spent a little bit of time grinding, spent a few coins, not really done too much in terms of gameplay. So we are still going to have to start eventually upgrading Missy with a few games. But the plan is that between episodes, I'll sort of do that type of stuff, the boring stuff that... You guys don't really need to see. The entertaining stuff will obviously keep to the episode. So as you can see, we've got six packs in store. Only one good pack, I will be honest. A lot of these from objectives. Um, a bit of gameplay has been done. And I have spent a lot of time in the moment section. The reason I've done that is because right now, there's some decent rewards in moments, which I feel like are probably worthwhile of my time. So I spent an hour and I have 60 stars complete now. The top reward right now that you can get in moments is for 60 stars. Um, and basically, that's a 50k pack. So, to finish off today's video, we're going to finish on a 50k pack. A very, very good pack to finish on, might I add. Um, we've got some gold packs, and then we've also got a two rare gold play pack. Again, all of these cards could hold something for us. Then what I'm going to do is I'm obviously going to go and play a lot of gameplay. In that, I'm hoping that tomorrow we can start upgrading the team. So, I want to obviously go and buy a Darwin Nunes. I might go and buy him, sort of not on episode, but I'll record I, I, anything to do with this. I'll record. It's absolutely fine. So starting things off, not going to be too good of a card um, because it isn't a board or a walkout. I can sort of tell now between what a walkout and what a high rate of boards is. So good news is we won't get trolled too, too much. But again, some goal cards to add into the club. What we are going to do over the next few days is do a lot of the foundation SBCs. Now, again, I want to... Actually, it's not the foundation, is it? It's the advanced SBCs. I've done most of the foundations. Um, this one isn't going to be too good either in terms of our pack. Again, not a bad card. Um, it is going to be... Do you know what? Actually, Pedro Gonchalez isn't that bad. Nice bit of rating in there. Good off the bench if we need him. Um, we do have a few Liga Portugal players anyway. We also get a... Uh, not Bundesliga, a WSL League um, women's manager, which is very nice. A few chem styles as well isn't too bad. Um, but as I was going to say, we've got the advanced SBCs to do. So I want to sort of work through them, but also save them for the night promo, just in case there's a few other cards in packs on Friday. So obviously for today, we've upgraded Missy Bokerns and we've done the majority of the SBCs that we need to. I think this is going to be good. This is a walkout. This is going to be Bernardo Silva, isn't it? It is indeed. That is very, very nice. This is why these two player packs are very good. Our first walkout of the series, it is going to be Mr. Bernardo Silva. A very nice looking card. One that we can probably use in the team. 69 pace isn't great, but the rest of his card is absolutely fantastic. So we're probably going to use him alongside Missy Bokerns in the midfield. We also get 
this guy who will probably help us out. Yeah, definitely will help us out for a few SBCs. But Bernardo Silva is very nice. Coming in at around about 20, uh, a little bit less, maybe 15, maybe 10,000 coins. Either or, at this point in the game cycle, he's going to be cheap. I don't think he's going to be super expensive this year. But it's an upgrade on the team that we can add in. Um, and that's why I kind of like doing these two-player packs. Because they do offer some good rewards from them. As I say, he has to go into this team. I don't know where it probably goes into the cam role in all honesty. Um, I feel like he fits in here quite nicely, although you can't actually play him as a cam. Bit unusual, but we can play him as a right winger. So maybe we do this instead and we actually play him as a right winger. Um, I wouldn't be too opposed to that. And then obviously we can go and add in the English cam yet again, which is fantastic. So again, this team is, as I say, starting to come together a little bit more. I just need a new striker. Jeremy is very good for what we needed him to do. But he just needs to get the links now, um, which is absolutely fine. And then, yeah, we're in a pretty, pretty good place. So, to finish things off, we are going to go to play. And then we go over to the moment section. And as you can see in the top right-hand corner, we are slowly nearly near um, level 1, which is also really good. So, if we do obtain that, I am going to take the Williamson card, the loan card. Um, so, we are going to do that. We also have a Sam Care loan. Um, I think this is only for, yeah, it's only for one game. But it allows me to do more moments. More moments will allow us to hopefully get a few more of these packs. Now, some people save up moments points to obviously get team of the years. I think at the start of the game, we need some gold cards which can add to the club. So, here we go. 50k pack to start things off is not going to be a walkout, I don't think. It is going to be a decent card. It is going to be Lopez. So it's not a bad start. He is 80... Oh, he's only 82 rated. So that's pretty disappointing at the start of the 50k pack. Maybe something's good in behind. Who knows? We have... Molina isn't too bad. Do not mind that. This is all tradable. So this is a good way for us to get some coins straight off the bat. I am more than happy to sell on a lot of these cards. Um, Yeah, a lot of cards that are going to help us out. A lot of cards that we can just quick sell on. This woman actually looks pretty decent. Um... She plays for Madrid CFF, from what I'm aware of, yeah. So, again, not bad, just obviously harder to link. Avia is in there. Hincape actually looks half decent. Sadly, just not worth a lot of coins. Um, Melina, as I say, is pretty decent. Again, not really worth too much. So, it's not a bad start. We can definitely look at maybe, possibly, if I can sell all of these on and get a Darwin Nunes, then I'm probably going to do it. However, I think the majority of these are going to end up in an SBC. So sadly, no major upgrades to the team, but that is where we're going to leave it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out tomorrow's video as well, where we'll have tons more packs, tons more upgrades to do as well on the team. And for now, I'm out. Peace.